Hey Victimistas, welcome to my channel PSA Public Shopping Addict. So I'm glad you could join me for today's unboxing. As you can see it's uh, from Amazon that's been poorly taped uh, but I guess I should be happy that it didn't come busted open. So let me get my cutter. We're gonna open this up. Very excited. Um, actually this um, purchase is basically off of, of someone I follow. Her name is Lori and Poodle Dog. And uh, Lori is so sweet. And she has some really great videos. So if you haven't checked her out, definitely do. But um, she did um, a series of some stuff that she picked up on Amazon from uh, Daisy Rose. And it was awesome. And I've been meaning for the longest to get something like this. And you'll see in a moment what it is. But I didn't want to do the Daisy Rose because she already covered it. So, and she did a really great job. So I definitely recommend visiting her channel. But I said I'm gonna dig in and do someone else just to see because you know Amazon is pretty big and there's lots of lots of stuff. So uh, yeah, so this uh, package I'm gonna show you this one here um, comes. Uh, she gets a lot of great reviews on Amazon. Uh, Rita Messi and um, I was very excited when I came across this because uh, it was a really great price uh, and I was really excited I've been wanting to, to get something like this uh, for the longest and when I saw the price it was uh, actually two of them I got it for seven dollars and ninety nine cents and uh, it's from Rita Messi and she's uh, I'm gonna link the information on the bottom on the comments so you can uh, if you want to check it out on Amazon she has a few items that um, she has and they're primarily the the dupes for Louis Vuitton and um, I've been wanting to get a, a zipper pouch and sure enough um, here it is so I'm excited to to pull this out and yeah, so it's the Rita Messi Luxury Checkered uh, Zip Coin Pouch Purse. And like I said, you get two of them. So wow, this is really nice. I really like the way this looks. Um, this is in the uh, in the Damier um, pattern. But, um, and uh, I don't know any Louis Vuitton, but um, I know it's a very popular pattern. And the zipper pull looks really nice, very nice, very well made. I love the way that looks. The zipper looks really nice and uh, very um, has a wide opening. And it does have the the chain, the, the keychain, and that is the I know Louis Vuitton that that is the the key uh, that they have. Uh, I know there's a way to open this, but I'm gonna figure it out. Um, which I'll, I'll get to in a in a moment, but in the meantime, yeah. So I'm just gonna put that in there so you guys could get a closer look. And um, yeah, really pretty, and it's it's pretty wide open. I love the way the outside feels, and very pretty, and the zipper works very good. Yeah, that's 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 a it's it's decent. So I am happy with that, and you get two, Rita Messi. So yeah, so she has a few things. Um, let me just check the second one here, just make sure that it's not a a fluke. Maybe you know one can come arrive damage. So like I say, you get two for the for a great price. I paid again seven dollars and ninety nine cents, and yeah, this is one is identical to the first one. It looks really great. I'm really, really happy with this, with this, and zippers is very smooth. I mean, there is no, no, no friction, no pulling, and there goes the uh, the key, uh, the keychain as well. And it's really pretty. It's very substantial. I really do like this this keychain. Very nice, and. Uh, yeah, the zipper pull, just so pretty. I am really, really pleased with this. So, Rita Messi, uh, she's gotten really some nice reviews. Uh, this one 
on Amazon has 48 five star reviews. So uh, there's a lot of happy people with this. And for the, you know, you get two, which is really nice for the holidays. I might pick up another and give them out as Christmas gifts. Uh, comes nicely packaged. So they they do make really nice, uh, really nice Christmas gifts. So yeah, so that uh, is the one thing that I I picked up, and then I picked this up also thanks to Lori, because uh, I like the way she has her tassels uh, like on the duty bags uh, protected, and I needed to invest in something like that. So I picked this up. Uh, which was a really good deal too. It was uh, uh, it, a total. Actually, it's 50 pieces. They call um, 50 pieces makeup brush uh, mesh, and they are still currently on Amazon, so I can link it. And as you can see, it's a mesh, and that's basically to put your your. I, I'm going to use it. I mean, I can use it from some of my makeup brushes. But primarily, I'm going to use it for my tassels, uh, for my duty bags. So I look forward to using that. Uh, 50, not bad, for $6.89. And then this is what I'm very excited to, to open up. Uh, I took a gamble with this because, as you can imagine, a lot of these dupes, uh, you never know what you're going to get. And um, this is if you. Once I open it up, you will see and not much information, but it is a dupe for the Speedy Bandolier bag. And I got it at a really great price, which was I paid $29.99. Now the seller is is the seller's name is called Rich Ports, but um it looks like they he's not selling or they're not selling anymore so the link is not there but they had a lot of different styles so I opted for this one so as you can see it comes in this uh, cheap a uh, little brown shopping bag but I mean it is packaged and I don't expect much for $30 but yeah so wow that is it's pretty though um, as you can see this is in the monogram um, pattern and I really like the way it feels very soft and as you can see they they folded uh, the bag nicely not much paperwork or detail it's uh, it's a mystery but no less uh, very nice so let me just open this up and see how it looks um, yeah, so this is this is really nice. I like the the handles. I like the workmanship. It looks uh, pretty well made, considering I only I pay thirty dollars, and uh, you know it is it is pleather. Then it's like a coated uh, canvas, and the red piping, the glazing. You know, obviously, it looks it looks a little too red. But, uh, I mean, it's cute. It really is. Um, it feels good. And it does feel very, very solid. Yeah, so I like it so far. Yeah, it's a little bent there, but I suspect it because it just came out of the packaging. But you open it up in the style. Normally when you buy a new, uh, an authentic uh, Louis, that's how it's folded. But I do like this, this pattern. Uh, so this... Uh, I would say it's, you know, uh, maybe equivalent to like the 30 in size. Uh, as you can see, the zipper pull, it's a, a double zipper. And, um, and let me see if it matches. I'm going to check the zipper pull just to see if it's the same. Well, the color is almost equal. Obviously, it's two different patterns, but just to see. And uh, zipper opens very nicely, so that was pretty easy. And it's a very big, large, this is a large bag. Um, it's a little bigger than I anticipated. I might be on the hunt for the small, I know they have a Speedy 25. Now the clip on the, uh, on the strap, 
Uh, let me fix that there. Ah, much better. Yeah, so that's a very solid, um, solid uh, clip. And now here's the stitching. You know, it's not the greatest, but I'm really not going to be using the strap anyway. I like to carry my bags on the uh, crook of my elbow. And here's the other uh, clip. And it looks, it looks very sturdy. So it, it's not flimsy at all. Yeah, so very pretty. Yeah, so this, this I like. All right, I'm happy with that. And it is an adjustable strap. Uh, so now the inside, you have the that little pocket there, which is trimmed in the same color. And the zipper, yeah, it's pretty easy to get it to. And what's in here? There's, oh, how nice. It comes with the, with the, the signature lock and key that you normally get with a, an authentic Louis Vuitton bag. And, uh, yeah, so that, it's very light. It's not a, it's not a heavy lock at all. It's so cute. Oh, there goes my face. <laughs> but, you know, it's adorable. Very nice, very high polished. So they would look really pretty on the bag. Yeah, so um, I definitely will use it more decorative. And, and the little key, the little skeleton key. Uh, I don't know if it actually works. Let me see. I don't think so. I don't even know. It's like I can't even insert the key. So I'm going to have to take a little a little further look-see on that. It just doesn't work. But anyway, we'll... We'll try that at another time, but I do like the lock. I'm mean, gonna have to get it open somehow. So let me just put it uh, back in here so that way I don't lose uh, the lock. Because I will be trying to figure that one out. And let's see. So the inside, now my lighting's a little, it's a little dark. So hopefully I'll, I'll do an, another closer look with, with light, with a better lighting. But the interior is... It's actually pretty well made and nice opening so you can fit a lot into this bag yeah with my flashlight I think we can see a little better uh, so the inside looks pretty it looks pretty good well constructed and it's all it's like a soft felt type material almost almost kind of to resemble suede but uh, yeah so here it is with the light and I have to say the monogram is very nice on this bag uh, it's not blurry or anything I mean it's really really sharp looking I'm, I'm really impressed for the for the $29.99 that I paid I'm gonna see if I look uh, to get the smaller version because I don't know if this might be a little too big, but but there's a lot. You can definitely fit a lot into this into this bag. So I would need to stuff it, so that way um, you know we can get a look at the actual size because she's been poor thing packaged. So let me just put some some of the paper that uh, some of the you know this fluffy plastic in here and see if I could try to get a shape. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to stuff her a little more. But that, you know, just to give you an idea. And yeah, like I said, she she's big. So if you are a kind of a shopping addictinista that likes the more of the larger, uh, larger bags, larger satchels, this uh, bandolier is definitely a, a good size for you. And if you guys are, you know, obviously those that do have the actual Louis, then you already know. But for a dupe, uh, and the reason this is a dupe, it's there's no notations, there's no Louis Vuitton notations. So um, this definitely uh, passes as a dupe. It's not a replica, and uh, so it is. It is a dupe because there's no notations that it's Louis Vuitton, but it is the style so it's mimicking the style of Louis Vuitton but it's not 
uh, is not passing off as a replica uh, Louis Vuitton. And, you know, really replicas are, are pretty much uh, fakes. All right, so I put under the lighting the uh, the key pouch, the Damier Abin canvas. And let me just try to pop this out so I can put the key, my keys on it. Uh, basically, you just push it down and pull it out. So, and it goes right in. And then just to put it back, just push it down and push it back up. And it's really easy. I really do like the, the, the key lock to this. And uh, it goes very nicely inside. Lots of room. It's made to look like, it reminds me, it's, you know, like Safiano leather. It's, this is not leather, but it looks just like the, the Dooney and Brooke Safiano. Uh, but all in all, I like um, the zipper is... It's pretty good considering for the for the price, but very roomy. I do like this, and I can put more keys in here and, and other things as well. So I am extremely happy, and uh, yeah, and I'm actually very happy with uh, that I got two for the price of eight dollars, seven dollars and ninety nine cents, and uh, yeah. So um, also here's my the speedy bandolier in the monogram canvas that looks like a 30 under the lighting uh, I got it to match my phone case that I also got on Amazon um, it should have been a dupe but there's a story behind that but some other time uh, but yeah so I love the piping I love the workmanship I'm very satisfied for for thirty dollars I cannot complain the zippers are really easy to work with and uh, yeah I stuffed it so you could take on more of, of its shape and uh, I do like the the canvas pocket and again the zipper is just so easy to slide open and close um, so no complaints I, I hope the seller comes back on Amazon because I really want to to check out and hopefully get pick up the, the the speedy bandolier in the 25 which is which is smaller and actually I want to get in the Damier a bean to match my case um, so yeah, look at the inside. Really nice. Uh, uh, what's uh, what's this little thing here? Oh, it's just a fabric. But uh, yeah, the inside really pretty color. It's uh, made to mimic to look like uh, suede, and I do like that it's bright and really smooth and soft. So it's not gonna hurt my hands. Uh, and the stitching, the workmanship, very nicely, uh, very nice stitching. No no loose threads or anything like that um, so very very pleased and uh, yeah let me put some more paper here because I want it to take its shape overnight but I do hope the seller comes back on rich ports and uh, yeah I would want to pick up for sure the speedy bandolier in the uh, Damier a bean but in the size 25 something a little slightly uh, smaller uh, but I'll probably keep this big one because there might be times, of course, that you need to take more things. And, uh, yeah, and this is a really nice size. And, uh, yeah, I like the, the piping. It's a cute little accent, the, the red. But overall, the handles are, are very nice. They're very sturdy. Um, I don't see it uh, breaking or anything. Uh, but, yeah, I'm very happy with uh, with this purchase from uh, from Amazon. And um, and I do hope they they come back and uh, and especially with my little keychains. So that I really do uh, enjoy. So I quickly just pulled out my my Dooney. If you see my PSA, this is the uh, Dooney uh, Wakefield tote, and I want to put the uh, mesh over it just to see how it looks. And I really like the way. This is so much better to keep it protected. And uh, I'm just gonna slide the other one. As you can see, uh, the uh, the tassel was already a little spread out. So I'm just gonna, see, this is a little spread out. So uh, with hopefully with the mesh, it'll keep it much more uh, closer together and uh, keep it in place. And uh, it takes a little, a little practice to put the uh, the tassel on, um, and definitely you could do it with the with the harder, thicker leather tassels like 
like on this bit on this bag but once you have it on it's just so pretty much more secure uh, yeah it really holds everything closely in together so I really do like that so I am I'm, I'm happy that I picked this up you do get 50 in a bag so uh, definitely worth uh, worth checking out so I plan to put these on on all my Dooney uh, tassels absolutely and uh, yeah goodbye from Amazon so uh, yeah uh, be sure to pick up uh, if you have uh, Dooney bags be sure to pick yours up and keep your your tassels uh, very very uh, protected and the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the uh, this mesh on uh, this uh, tassel that I purchased on Amazon now this one's a little more flimsier and um, I'm gonna see if I can put it on it's gonna be a little hard because this one is not as hard as the tassels with Dooney so it's gonna take a little practice so I'm gonna try to figure this out live in case you guys find yourself in the same boat as I am right now um, yeah so I'm sure we can uh, I'm gonna figure this out um, I do love these tassels I picked these up on Amazon in different colors in case you're wondering and want to see let me know post your comment I'll be happy to show you uh, the ones that I purchase so yeah so this is a little better but I, I'm still folding still bending the tassels so it's not making me happy so I gotta kind of figure out a, a different angle and approach to this luckily these these mesh are very um, stretchable but you don't want to stretch them too much because then you you'll lose the uh, the strength on them I'm sure you know you don't want them too stretched out but it's a, a whole lot better than what it was before so yeah that that can work and uh, yeah I'm gonna try now let's see if I could do the uh, the second tassel and uh, try to figure out an, an approach to this so let me see if I stretch it out and start from the top that might work better oh actually that that's a better idea start from the top and then just slide it down oh much better yeah that that makes me a whole lot happier so I will be doing that to all my tassels and any tassels that I've purchased uh, let me fix uh, this one I'm gonna do it you know just stretch it from the top see I already bent a little there but um, start from the top and then slide it down and then push it down and then push it down as, as much as you as much as you want you could cover it all or you could put it towards the the edge if you want a more tighter um, grip there uh, but yeah much better to protect them uh, so I'm just gonna push it down a little so that is nicer and uh, it looks pretty on my lucky brand bag actually I picked up that this bag over the weekend or over the summer at TJ Maxx which I hope to do a PSA on it but yeah all in all really happy looks great until the next time Addictinistas thanks for stopping by stay safe don't forget to subscribe see you soon